Old and in the Way Sisters. Laugh and learn with me, Janet. And me, Nancy. The, the Bitchin' Sisters. Sisters. As we tell it like it is. The way it was back then and the mess we're in now. We're growing old in a new world with skyrocketing costs, crazy fashions, changing norms, and I hate to remind you, with limited time left, <laughs> yeah. we've got some practical ideas that might work for you. And we definitely have some opinions that you might have, too. We'll entertain you and inform you. Let's look back at how it was and ahead to what's coming. And if you're young, maybe you can learn something from your elders. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, we're wise, but we've definitely been there and done that. Janet, I like to reminisce about your turkey okay. fiasco. The turkey yes, fiasco. Yes, you know, I'm okay. at my knitting club, and every year I tell this story. <laughs> Last year and this year, and they still laugh about it. So tell me about it again. Okay. Well, we have done a big Thanksgiving for our big family uh, for a number of years. So last year we were we had a twenty. We were having twenty four guests at Thanksgiving, and this is in our little tiny log cabin like log cabin uh, out in the woods in Wisconsin. So um, we, we could fit them in here. Um, our grandson, Chaska, and his wife, Emily, raised a few turkeys, and they gave us the smallest one, 22 pounds. Oh, boy. Uh, my husband, Mark, was planning to roast half and smoke half, as okay. he has sometimes done. So he set about to cut the uh, massive bird in half. Yeah, I, I see the knife. It's, it should be framed. Oh, God, God. <laughs> so, using a heavy shears and a huge chef knife, he did the difficult job without any accidents to himself. Well, that's good. Yeah, I was afraid he was going to cut his hand up because he was really trying to cut this thing in half. And this is the day before Thanksgiving because he's going to brine the turkey, you know. Then he saw a tiny piece was missing from the blade of the knife yeah. right in the middle. Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, we, we, we just stared at it. I mean, um, 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 um. so we searched the turkey, you know, with our fingers, <laughs> oh, and we God. sprayed it. We, uh, we looked in the pan, on the counter, on the floor, the sink, everywhere. No tiny piece of metal. But I had an idea. Let's try magnets. Magnets? Yeah, we had a whole bunch on the refrigerator. Oh, so. for your grandkids. Yeah, oh. so I took, you know, we took them down, and we were going all over the road. That's nothing. a good idea. Yeah, well, nothing was found. Oh. Then I had another idea. We were, like, were giving up. Were you drinking? <laughs> this was in the morning. <laughs> I don't start till, you know, 11.30. No, no. <laughs> no, anyway. So I had another, I had another idea. Could we get the turkey x-rayed? x -rayed? The next time I knew Mark, my operative, was on the phone to the Lafarge Medical Clinic, where we have been patients for many years. A receptionist named Stacy answered. Mark began with, I'm going to make the most unusual request you have probably ever had. I'm sure she was scared out of her wits by then. Yeah. She didn't know Mark and required his date of birth, oh, yeah. etc. That's great. <laughs> Before she would proceed to listen to him. Then he told her about the turkey, the knife, the shard, and the 24 guests. She said, uh, This is the best call I have ever had. <laughs> and then he asked to speak to a nurse who happened to be an old friend who we've known since she was a child. She was unable to come to the phone, but Stacy relayed the message that it would be illegal to x-ray the bird. Why? I don't know. Mark said, tell her we could put it into a plastic bag. You know, like <laughs> its body would never touch whatever. She said, no. Tell her we can use the back door. No one will ever know. Just think no. if, if you had what? it done and then... You submitted it to your insurance company. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. For all we know, we might have gotten paid for that. Um, not that we get paid for other things. So that was that. And then I thought, well, uh, if the clinic couldn't do it because it was an animal, mm. if that was the problem, how about 
our veterinary service. <laughs> I'm coming to you, and I have a problem. You think out of the box. <laughs> I am a problem solver. So we went to Animal Tracks, our veterinary service in Viroqua. Mark, we were going to call them. Mark was on the phone with another shocked and delighted receptionist, Hannah. She said, when I thought your voice, I thought you were going to say something horrible had happened to a kitten. <laughs> but... They kindly agreed to see the turkey right after closing. Hmm. Yeah. Mark took the bird into the office in a four-gallon plastic bucket. He said, (laughs) sorry, I couldn't find the pet carrier. (laughs) (laughs) They x-rayed the turkey and returned with a shard of metal held in a forceps. Wow. Yep. It had shown up starkly embedded in some bone. No other shards were visible. The whole staff was laughing. How much did that cost? We were happy and thankful, and they didn't even charge us. Really? Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Yeah. How come? However, a teeny, teeny, tiny piece Uh was not found. It could have been washed down the drain or something. Mm. Uh, We decided we'd (laughs) have all of our guests sign release forms. No. No. (laughs) But nothing happened. So far, so good. It's been over a year. Oh, Everybody's happy. That's a good one. Yeah. That's had that's a, a happy first. ending. Yeah. A first, and let's hope the last. We still use the knife, of course, for other things. Hmm. That's but a good one. That's a good one. Janet and I come to you twice a month with new episodes. Some are funny. Some are serious. Some are just our crazy opinions. I hope you enjoyed our show. Me too. It's been a pleasure. We are Nancy and Janet, the The Bitchin' Bitchin Sisters. Sisters. Music by Hall and Sidnor.